All right, I'm looking at myself. You haven't died a single time. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? Am I wrong? <laughs> huh. Well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Because someone really cares about you. I have no idea where the freaking heck I am. Where the heck am I? Okay. Oh, I know where I'm at. Okay, I'm inside the... Okay. The relaxing atmosphere of this hotel. It fills you with determination. Save. Okay. Welcome to the MTT Resort, Hotland's biggest apartment building turned hotel. Whether you're here for a night or still live here, MTT Resort prides itself on a great stay. Just passing through? Nice. MTT Resort prides itself on being passed through. Okay. It says go over here for good deals. Hold on. What the heck does this say? Oh, uh, this has something. This is going to be freaky, but okay, let's do this. Hey, check it out. Hey, check it out. Sell. Thanks, but we, like, don't really need anything. Oh my god, can you go get some clam burgers? We don't really need anything. Wait, I'll pay you a thousand G if you get Metaton to autograph my butt. Bye. Junk food. Empty gun. Cowboy hat. Mystery key? Probably in someone's ha house. Ooh. Oh, I want that. Oh, I want that. You need way more money. Like, later and stuff. Oh, dear God, I want it. Oh, dear God, I want it. I want it, 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 I want it. It's just a regular wall. Of course it is. Okay. Anybody else get the feeling that it would be a lot scary if we were doing the genocide story? Like, I, 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 I was told that, that scary shit was going to go down. But Sans really scared, freaks the living shit out of me, man. Okay. This elevator goes straight to the capital, but it stopped working. The hotel is doing its best to accommodate everybody stuck here. Yeah, I'm not going to be home tonight. Um, I think there's some cold pizza in my treasure hoard. You can heat it up. Oh. <laughs> As a slime, I'm outraged. Bye. Glam burger. Steak in the shape of Manaton's face. Mm, will the person buy the glam burger? Let's try it. Thanks. Have a fab filled day. New. No. So, do you want it or not? talk what why do you keep trying to talk to me I'll get in trouble if I get chummy with the customers sorry so I wanted to be an actor life advice I'm getting on in years so let me give you some advice little buddy you've still got time don't live like me I'm 19 years old and I've already wasted my entire life romance advice listen I like you, but little buddy. So I'm going to save you a lot of trouble. Never interact with attractive people. Unless you're one of them. They're just going to take advantage of you. Like that time those two chicks asked me to sneak them some glam burgers. And I, naive teenager that I was, said yes to them. Bad idea. So I went out to the alley to see those two ladies. And, uh, you know, see what happened next. Then my boss, uh, saw me and asked me what I was doing. I was so startled that hamburgers in my pockets trembled out, tumbled out onto the ground. Not wanting to lose face, 
I scrambled to pick him up, but as I was leaning over, the weight of the remaining hamburgers caused my pants to fall down. Then the girls laughed at me. Everybody calls me Burger Pants now. Mataton. When I first came to Hotland, it was my dream to work with Mataton. Well, be careful what you wish for, little buddy. God, have you ever looked around? This place is a labyrinth of bad choices. And every time we try to change something for the better, he vetoes it and says, That's not how they do it on the surface. Oh, right! Humans are always eating hamburgers made of sequins and glue. <sighs> Why do people find him so attractive? He's literally a freaking rectangle! You know, one time, I bought one of those uh, kits online to uh, make yourself more rectangular. They don't work. Your future. Future? What future? Nothing down here ever changes. I'll probably be trapped at this stupid job forever. But wait! There's one thing that keeps me going. If Asgore gets just one more soul, we'll finally get to go to the surface. It'll be a brand new world. There's gotta be a second chance out there for me. For everybody. So stay strong, little buddy. When I make it big, it'll. I'll keep you in mind. Exit. Exit. Anytime, little buddy. Holy f fudge. Um... There's an inscription on the on this fountain. Royal Memorial Fountain built twenty blank one blank. Manaton added last week. Let's see if I got Glamburger. Oh my god, is that a Glamburger? Oh my god, gimme, god caddy, try to have some self control. Sorry, because they obviously bought that Glamburger for me. No way. Yeah, yeah, check it out. Uh, this it? Talk. Burger pants, new. Oh, that guy from the store? Yuck. What a creep. Yeah, he's a creep. But he's kind of cute, too. Come on, caddy. Don't you have any standards? Nope. Burger pants. Okay, like... The annoying thing is, he'd be okay if he just treated us with some respect. But he just acts really weird. And then acts like it's our fault he acts that way. Like, when we asked him to get those glam burgers, he dropped them and ran away before we could even say anything. We were like, going to share them. Really? I wasn't. Caddy. <laughs> Fuck. About your two. I'm bratty. And this is my best friend, Caddy. I'm Caddy, and this is my best friend, Braddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> About your wares. The stuff inside this is, like, totally wicked expensive. But, like, the stuff we found is, like, totally wicked cheap. You should, like, totally wicked buy all the of it. Origins of wares. I mean, like, where does anyone get guns or food? Or, we found it in the garbage. It's good garbage. It's like good garbage. Origins of garbage. Where do we get the garbage? Like, the garbage store. Duh. Waterfall mostly. I found a gun in a dumpster. <laughs> About Manaton. Oh my god, Manaton. He's like... Actually, he's like my robot husband. I think we're like both going to marry him. Our, I think we're both like already married to him. He's just like, doesn't know it yet. Origin of Mataton. So like, Dr. Alfie's built Mataton, right? Like, that's like what they tell you. But like, Mataton always acts like being built was his idea somehow. And even right after he was built, he acted like Alfie was an old friend. But they're like, not friends anymore. Yeah, unlike me and Braddy, we're friends forever. <sighs> About Mataton old? Oh my god, Mataton! Okay, hold on. 
Okay, my apologies. I thought I was going to read something new there. About Alfie's. Like, oh my god, Alfie's? She used to live on our street. She was like a big sister. I mean, like, if your big sister takes you <laughs> on trips to the dump. She showed us the coolest places to find trash. She was always collecting these weird cartoons. Then she became a royal scientist. Yeah, we haven't seen her in forever. So Alphys was has always like thought Asgore is like a super cutie. So like I'm pretty sure she made Manaton to like totally impress him. A robot with a soul. That's like super relevant to his hobbies. So after seeing Manaton, Asgore asked her to do all his this science stuff for him. But nobody's like seen anything from her yet. Or her at all. She must, like, just stay in her lab all day. Like, live a little girl. Yeah, like us. But Asgore knew. Oh my god. He's a total goober. He's a big fuzzy goofball. Like, I love that guy. Like, he's so nice. God, we're, like, so hyped for the destruction of humanity. Fuck. Bye-bye. Okay. We're so <laughs> fucked. Okay, I'm going to save it here. Well, I'd like to thank you all for watching. This is my two-parter episode to say sorry for not uploading today. Until next time, I hope you all enjoy, and you all have a super great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>